Hey guys, so today we're making some oatmeal cream pies. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. We're going to start by combining our uh, dry ingredients. So I have some all-purpose flour, some baking soda, and I'm just going to uh, mix this together. I'm also going to add in some ground cinnamon. So this is a recipe that I got from another YouTuber uh, called Preppy Kitchen. And I'll be sure to link their video in the description box below. Um, but to those other ingredients, you're going to add in the quick oats. Make sure that you're using the quick oats and not the steel cut oats. Um, and I'm assuming this is for texture uh, reasons. And so you're going to combine all of that together and then put it to the side so that we can work on our wet ingredients. So I have one stick of softened uh, unsalted butter that I am just going to cream in my uh, mixer. And if you are interested in a kitchen aid, please make sure you use my link in the description box below. Um, to the butter, you're going to add in, this is some dark brown sugar, and I'll be sure to list the ingredients in the measurements below. And then I'm going to add in some granulated sugar and then just a little bit of molasses yes and this is going to make that outer cookie like the oat, oatmeal cookie part of it is going to make it so delicious um and i've never baked with molasses but it added a great depth of flavor to the oatmeal cream pies and so if you are a fan of the little debbie oatmeal cream pies then you will definitely enjoy this recipe um and so I'm just gonna scrape the sides of my bowl. I'm adding in a little bit of flaky salt and then I'm gonna continue to mix it until um, everything is nice and combined and creamy, kind of like this. And then I am gonna add in one egg um, and you wanna make sure you mix that until it is well combined. Um, and so I really enjoyed making this recipe, y'all. I'm all about trying new things. And, you know, um, a lot of the stuff you can make at home versus buying it at the store. <laughs> and so that's what I, I've been trying to do. And so I'm going to add in a few teaspoons of vanilla extract. And it's starting to look like peanut butter a little bit. But that's okay. We're going to add in our uh, dry ingredients. And this is probably the best tasting oatmeal cookie I've ever had. It, it had some richness to it that I really enjoyed. Um, like I could eat it outside of it being like the oatmeal cream pie like I can do without the cream bar like the oatmeal cookie itself was really delicious and so you're going to add in your dry ingredients a little bit at a time and make sure you scrape down the sides of your bowl and so what spring recipes do you guys want to see um I want to do like a salad series or something like that and I know grilling season is almost upon us y'all it's almost summertime believe it or not <laughs> but anyway this is what the batter uh, or cookie dough looks like after everything has been combined and so I am just using a cookie scoop and I'm going to place um, the dough on a uh, baking sheet and I lined it with some parchment paper and so I'm just going to cook this in batches um, and bake it until the cookies are, um, they're going to be kind of chewy, but they, they also have a nice, uh, a little bit of crisp, crispness to them. And so this is what it looks like out of the oven. And so, um, if you want to get your cookie, the nice shape, you can use a big cookie cutter and kind of roll the cookie around in it to get a nice circle shape. Um, and so now I'm going to work on the cream part of the oatmeal cream pie. And so I have another stick of unsalted butter that has been salted and then unsalted. And I added some flaky salt to it. And so I'm just going to cream that with some uh, vanilla extract. And then I'm going to add in some powdered sugar. And so I will admit that I over mixed my cream filling uh, a little bit. So I. Um, try not to over mix it like I did <laughs> and so I added a little bit of heavy cream in there and you're gonna mix this until it is um, 
a nice creamy texture um i mean you want it to be kind of stiff so that it doesn't run all over your cookie um but don't over mix it like i did i like i probably could have stopped right there and and, and just kind of mixed it with the spatula right here but no i i kept going with the mixer and i over mixed it unfortunately but it was still delicious yeah you don't want it to look like that don't don't do that <laughs> and so i'm using a piping bag you don't have to use a piping bag you can use like a spatula or a spoon and just put the cream filling in between two cookies and um what i did here is i i tried to match cookies that were the same uh shape or size before I put the filling um, inside and so match your cookies to make sure that one you have enough to make you know two together um, but after you do that just put some of the cream filling in there and then it's gonna look like this and this was really delicious you guys this is the finished product put those little Debbie snack cakes down cuz listen <laughs> you can make that at home I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.